Hi, this is Frank Taylor, and it's uh, late in the afternoon in early October, and I'm at one of my favorite habitats to see a huge variety of insects, and that is at a stand of goldenrod here in the Appalachian Mountains on a roadside. Goldenrod is a prolific producer of nectar and not windblown pollen, but sticky pollen that's picked up by insects. And it's here that all sorts of insects congregate, many of them to collect nectar, but other ones to feed on and attack and eat the nectar feeders. And today's episode is gonna be about one of those attackers, and it's the assassin bug. And this is a really big assassin bug, probably the biggest of all the assassin bugs, and it's called a wheel bug. And I'm gonna show you this wheel bug, tell you how it gets its name, and explain the gruesome way it kills, paralyzes, and eats its prey. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're gonna find. And there's a make this basic. It's like it's on yours. Dogwoods are flowering. And I just took a couple swipes of terrestrial environment. Uh, produce seed pollen. And it's... As you can see in this stand of goldenrod, there are many, many insect visitors, from wasps and bees to beetles and bugs and many, many nectar feeders. But this is also an attraction for predators especially assassin bugs, like this wheel bug. How do you identify a wheel bug? A bug is a true category in the insect group. And bugs are characterized by a proboscis or beak that they use to stab either plants or their prey. I've done a video on the stink bug that's in your houses. I've mentioned bed bugs that are bugs that feed on the blood of mammals, especially the females, to provide protein for their eggs. And then the other bug is the assassin bug. This particular assassin bug is a wheel bug, and it's characterized by a long tubular head, a proboscis that folds underneath it, and this classic wheel on top that looks like gears. So it's called a wheel bug, because of the round shape of this gear-like structure. And it makes them look positively prehistoric. It looks more like a dinosaur than an insect. These guys are ambush predators. They'll lurk in the weeds and flowers, move very, very slowly, and then suddenly reach out and grab a prey that comes by. And how it takes over its prey and how it eats it is a fascinating story in itself. So I'm back at my house. Remember, nature is just outside your door. You don't have to go far to find cool and fascinating things. I'm going to use this juice box to explain how the assassin bug both gets its name and how it captures, kills, and eats its prey. Assassin bugs, like all true bugs, instead of biting mouth parts, they have a stabbing proboscis. Plant eaters stab plants' leaves with this and suck out the juices. The assassin bug will follow a prey item, moving very, very slowly till that last instant, and then reach out with its two front legs grab the insect, pull it close, and take its proboscis and stab it. The proboscis is almost like a blade-like straw. Just like this one has a pointed tip on it, the proboscis of the assassin bug looks for a crack between the insect's armor and exoskeleton and drives it in. So the first thing it does, it injects the organism with toxins and paralyzing substances that subdue it. After that organism has been subdued, it injects digestive enzymes. So it pierces this, 
injects it with toxins, paralyzing chemicals, and digestive enzymes. And it digests the inside of the organism. So the invertebrates it feeds on have an exoskeleton, which would be represented by this box. And inside are all its organs that are then liquefied by the digestive enzymes. Shake this up a little bit, let those digestive enzymes work. What does the assassin bug do? He sucks out those contents. A delicious, nutritious, protein, vitamin-rich cocktail has formed inside the exoskeleton of the invertebrate it feeds on. When it's finished, it drops it to the ground. Where an assassin bug has actively been feeding, you can find the lightweight, hollow exoskeletons of its prey scattered around its perch. Now that's why it's called an assassin bug. I just finished a few weeks ago an episode on another fierce insect predator, the praying mantis. And it might be interesting to compare the praying mantis with the wheel bugs. So I hope you check that out. But these wheel bugs, they are very, very fierce. Uh, I need to also note that it's not really safe to handle one. They are often seem very docile and they'll walk across your hand. I've picked them up in the past, but I haven't done that anymore. So the bite of the wheel bug is said to be several times more painful than a hornet or a wasp and lasts much longer. And people have reported three or four days of numbness. And obviously it's because he's not actually stinging you. He's not actually biting you. He's stabbing you with his proboscis and injecting those very enzymes and paralytic chemicals and deadly chemicals that it would inject into an insect to kill it is injected into you. So be really, really careful when you're around assassin bugs because if it feels threatened, it may stab you with that proboscis. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Nature at Your Door. Check out the goldenrod and see what insects you can find near you. And if you're lucky, maybe you'll find one of these big predatory assassin bugs. Remember, I love hearing from my viewers. If you like what I do, please subscribe, give me a like, and leave me a question or a comment. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can if I'm not out in the mountains camping, hiking, or investigating and photographing cool things in nature. Thanks for watching. Nature at your door.